Alright, Shalom. Long. This is Yaikwa with the GMS Dallas Camp. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to Apostle and the elders of Grand Millstone who teach him real well. And intelligence is Akim scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, keeping his truth and sincerity. Now, I just want to go into a quick topic, going into something that I um, uh, noticed, I guess. You know, you know, there were certain brothers. I'm just gonna give a general example, but you know, you got brothers, you know, who deal with each other. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you might have some brothers that connect with other brothers, and then, you know, eventually, you know, um, they start, you know, getting annoyed of each other. You know what I'm saying? Which is which is fine. It's normal. It happens. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, a certain brother's habits might annoy the hell out of another brother. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't make him wicked. But, you know what I'm saying? That shouldn't, you know, just, you know, if, if that's the case, you know what I'm saying? You know, steer clear from that brother for a while. Or maybe y'all been hanging out too much. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing, you know, it's nothing bad. But, you know, you shouldn't, that shouldn't, um... That shouldn't cause you to look at him a certain way, you know, like, you know, like the scripture, like have that evil eye towards him, you know what I'm saying? You know, because things, things like that are going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Brothers are going to get annoyed with each other. Brother, brother, brothers' personalities are going to clash, and that's fine, you know what I'm saying? Things happen. But, y'all, you know, if you're in this truth and he's your brother and he's in the truth, you got to deal with him accordingly, you know, like the scriptures say. I'm going to bring it out. You know what I'm saying? This is 1 Corinthians 14 and 40. All right, 144. It says, let all things be done decently and in order, man. So if you got something against your brother, that's just annoying the hell out of you. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you know, you got to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? If something bothering you about him and you, and you just dwelling on it, you, know, you got to talk to him. That, and, you know, I'm, ta I'm speaking to myself as well. You know? There's things that we all need to consider and understand. All right. So I'm gonna read this. This is on Matthew 18 and 15. It says, "Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother." All right. So look, man. If you tell your brother, like, man, you're doing this, you're doing that. You know what I'm saying? According to the scripture, you're doing this. All right, and then if he listens to the, or if he listens to you, all right, cool. You know, if he takes it, he takes that, takes and accepts it. All right. Now, uh, the next verse says, "But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established." So you know, if he's if you he, if he refuses to listen, all right, then you know you got to take him up to. Two or three witnesses, man. But you know, bring bring another two brothers in there, two or three of them. All right, as witnesses. All right. Verse seventeen. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, that let him be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. So, if you got to take it all the way to to the body, you know, to the church, you know, to the camp. And have a counsel about it, and then he still refuses to listen to you, man, and or listen to what you gotta say and not deal with you at all. Then you might you gonna have to neglect it, you know, or neglect him like you neglected, to, you know, to hear the church, you know, let him be unto you, unto thee as a heathen man and a publican, you know what I'm saying? Because if he was your brother and he understood and was willing to deal, he wouldn't have neglected you, all right. Uh, or neglected to hear the church or you, you know what I'm saying? The the issue would have been resolved. Um. In the, in the 15th verse, you know what I'm saying? He shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. All right. Now, um. What am I going to bring out? Now, if you're, you know, if your brother is dealing with you, you know what I'm saying? And he's willing to do, you know what I'm saying? Don't continue to just 
you know, talk down on him. I'll be like, man, the scripture say this, and you know what I'm saying? You gotta do things, like it says, uh, d decently and in order. So if you see he's going off, you gotta tell him about it. You know, the brother's got doing something that annoys the hell out of you, you know, you gotta talk to him about it. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying? You gotta you know, uh, deal with things accordingly. All right, but you still got to show that, you know, that affection towards your brother because he's your brother, you know, he's in this truth. So you got to listen to each other, man. You got to talk about things, sit down and, and deal with it according to the scriptures, man. Because, you know, if you're in this thing, you you be you a spiritual man, you go and deal with it spiritually, man. Don't get mad and start, you know, getting angry and stuff like that because of what he's saying, you know what I'm saying? And, Vice versa with with the other brother, you know, you know y'all brothers, man, y'all in this truth, man, y'all deal with this this thing according to the scriptures. All right, so I'll bring this out. This is First Peter four and eight. It says, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. And that's what you gotta be, man. You gotta be charitable towards your brothers. All right, so let's look up that word charity. It says agape, right, or agapa. It says affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love. All right, that's how you gotta be, man. You gotta uh, treat your brother in this truth like he's your actual brother, man. Somebody that you care and have affection towards, you know, love and have that benevol benevolence towards them. All right, that's something that a lot of that we need to uh, really think about, man. Because the guy next to you, find out there in the highways and byways, is uh, is doing this thing and willing to die for this thing. You know, he's serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh just like you trying to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. And that's important. You know, that's admirable. And you should treat him with a certain respect. Enough to be able to deal with him according to the scriptures, man. You know, don't deal with him carnally. Don't just throw all the scriptures out on how to deal with your brother out the window just because you feel a certain type of way. All right? All right, so let's see. Um, so when you're dealing with a brother and you think he has certain habits that annoy you and things like that, all right, you know, you talk to him about it. And if y'all need a... Um, Deal with the situation. Deal with the situation where y'all needed to just stop hanging out for a while because y'all been around each other too long. Then that's fine. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with that. All right. Now it says, uh, "Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, and it's not puffed up. You no, know, do not behave. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinking no evil." Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in truth. Beareth all things, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things, man. So you got to deal with your, you know, you, you know that, that's, that's charity right there. It doesn't do any of those things. So that's how, that's how uh, a part of being charitable, not applying these things right here that we just, that it, that it listed right here in First Corinthians 13 chapter, all right? So remember, you got uh, like we read in First Corinthians fourteen, let all things be de decently done and decently and in order. And then this is how you deal with your brother. And the scripture said to be charitable towards your brother, and not go around calling them different names and things like that just because you uh, uh, you feel like he's going off. You know what I'm saying? You got to deal with things decently in order and first present these things to him. If you don't listen. Get you two or three brothers for his witnesses. And if you still don't listen, take it to the church, man. Take it to the camp. Have a council if it has to get if it has to go that far. And if you still don't listen, then you know, you're gonna be either cursed out or kicked out, you know what I'm saying, for not wanting to deal. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they're too proud to admit whatever cause. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know, that's pretty much all I had, you know, with them, say shalom.